Hey Logo Designers, this is Michael from The Logo Package and today I wanted to explain why you may be seeing some differences between the actual color examples in the color sheets that we generate and the color information inside of Logo Package Swatch. So I'm going to open up this hibiscus color here. And if we go to the color information on the color sheet, we will see that all of the color information matches exactly what we have in the extension. There's no issues there. The problem that we will end up having is if we look at the actual color field here, the example of the hibiscus color. If we make a selection of this and then we go into our color picker, we're going to see that the RGB values do not match. It's 50 over here and 51 in the color picker. The hex code does not match. This is A83 and we have A93 over in the extension. So there's some discrepancies here and I want to explain what is happening. When we create this color sheet, we send the color information to a web browser and then generate the PDF on the web. When the PDF is generated on the web, it is using an untagged RGB profile, a generic browser color profile. So it takes that information and interprets it the way the browser would interpret it and then renders it. When we open that PDF in Illustrator, it's going to be rendered using Illustrator's color profiles, and we will end up having slightly different interpretations as we move through these different phases. The extension has one bit of information from Illustrator, then that information is interpreted by the browser and then reinterpreted by Illustrator. This may seem alarming at first, but it really depends on what you are using our color sheets for. If you are expecting to give this color sheet to another designer and you think that they're going to sample colors from this color sheet, then you may want to go ahead and either update these colors to match the information below or just use the copy functions of Logo Package Swatch to copy the information into your own guideline. However, if you are just sending this as a quick reference PDF to your clients and you don't expect that they're going to actually open these up in Illustrator, it's still a perfectly accurate way to provide them with color information and show them an example of what their color looks like because these colors are going to be incredibly close even if they are slightly different. So this is an explanation of some of the discrepancies you may see between the information in Logo Package Swatch and the actual color picker information of sampled colors from the color sheet that Logo Package Swatch generates. Thanks for watching.